I get asked a lot in my classes, what is the secret sauce to get that flamenco look in that upper body? And by that, they're asking about when you're raising your arms, what is it that's happening that makes it look flamenco, right? And the answer is strength and mobility in the upper body. So you need to, to uh, build the core and be mobile in the rib cage and the back. And to do that, there's a few simple exercises. So the first one would be to gain mobility in the, in the chest, in the rib cage, is you're going to lift up the rib cage and then bring it down. And the way I do that is I'm not lifting everything up here. I want to keep the shoulders down and lift from over here without hyperextending or without crunching that lower back because you're hyperextending that upper back because this is not a natural position. But in flamenco, you'll do that periodically, right? But not the entire time. So I'm going to lift up and release. Lift up and release. So I'm zipping up my abdominals. And that means I'm lifting and stretching up and down. Up and down. And then I work on the side, going from left whoop, to right. Whoop. <laughs> left and right. And this takes some practice because it is a mobility, flexibility practice issue. So you need to lift up the left as much as you can without lifting up the shoulder. Lift up the right without lifting the shoulder. Left and right. All right, and then the last one would be bring your arms up. Now, when you bring your arms up, you imagine that you have a heavy weight that you're lifting. So if you're lifting a heavy weight from the front, you're not just gonna go, bleh, 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 bleh. it's impossible. You're gonna use momentum and you're gonna uh, have, you're gonna engage your abdominals to lift that weight and engage the back. So the same thing when you bring your arms up is that you bring them up with intention. And then you make sure that they go behind. And that will, with the mobility that you gain in your chest and your back from this exercise, you'll be able to lift your arms more. Okay? And then actually the final little trick is when you are marking with your arms up, you can also bring your arm, your hands down and make little bunny ears but the elbows are back. But if you're at an angle, it just seems like your arms are going way back and makes them look even longer. And for people like me, we have short arms, so we need all the help we can get, right? So what I do is I lift my arms up, bring the hands down and the elbows are back. So it makes it seem like the side angle here that the arms are really long and really flexible and just beautiful long. All right, so let's do this exercise, uh, exercise sequence right now. So we'll lift up the front side and then bring the arms up and then back down. All right, here we go. So we have, we'll just try going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to bring your arm up for four. One, and two, and three, and four. And now we'll bring your arms up and we'll bring the hands down. So up. And down, other side, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Great. And then to round it all out, you should practice planks a lot. And that, this is the final thing, I promise, is you're down here, either uh, arm straight or you can go down the elbows, or you can bring your knees down. So you can be up here with your knees down, 
or down here on your knees, or come on up, or all up here. And if you can practice plank throughout the day, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds over there, it'll really help you in your flamenco practice. So I hope that helps.